come from a, a family which has a political background and i myself was a, a politician but a very corrupt and cruel politician in our parts of india the politics is, was very cruel and uh, when i entered politics i encountered a very cruel man who was who became my enemy and i also had to become a very cruel man he was man he was a man living with bombs and guns i started living with bombs and guns i became a very cruel politician been to jail many times and uh, the worst uh, the worst a politician could be before i came to the lord actually my uh, grandfather was a man uh, who was always living with a gun and uh, my parents were they were not uh, cruel people but uh, when i entered into politics because i en- uh, encountered this cruel man and he wanted to kill me and as a defense i also started living with bombs and guns and uh, with bodyguards so i became a cruel political leader of that uh, region uh, in india the area that we uh, hail from the politicians were you know deadly killers wanting to kill each other and apart from that there was a very uh, great uh, financial crimes people were very corrupt they were more uh, interested in the politicians were more interested in earning money than to serve the people so that's a very uh, difficult thing wherein there would not be any development of the people and the country so india is full of corrupt politicians selfish and very cruel in some places uh, india is a country of uh, nearly 1200 millions of people and there are many states divided ac- according to the languages and uh, so there are uh, many religions they say some thousands of gods they believe, they believe in and uh, so it's a very complicated with different types of people and as a result uh, there is a lot of enmity between one region and another region the north north and the south so so many things are there there is no unity in our country i was uh, only 26 and newly married to my wife and and uh, she did not know before our marriage that i was such a cruel man but only after marriage she came to know that uh, what type of person i was so i was uh, 26 and as soon as we got married our family life was very bad because well i used to ill treat her very much and uh, so many bad things happened in my life I, i myself was a very evil man i did not know the lord jesus christ i thought he was a low caste god i thought he didn't have the strength that's why he died on the cross if he was god why will he die a death like that i did not know the real truth of the lord jesus christ who visited me i couldn't do justice to the people Uh, because of my political evil and cruel life i was always guilty about that and uh, naturally i was frustrated because uh, of all the evil that i was doing and my conscience would always prick me regarding this and most of all because of my, all my sinful life there was no peace in my in my life the bible says that there is no peace for the wicked so i was became a very peaceless man and you know my life was very miserable yeah my wife was a christian and though i ill treated her very much she prayed for me with god's love for 17 years and the day came when i really wanted to kill myself with my own revolver because i had become a psychiatric patient there was no peace i couldn't get peace through any meditations i couldn't get peace with money 
And so that was the time when I really was in a very worst situation. My wife took me to a God servant and they told me about the forgiveness that the Lord Jesus Christ gives. I thought, let me see, let me give it a try. And I did not know how to pray. I did not know much about Jesus Christ. But when I started praying, the Lord did appear to me in a very special way. Yeah, before I, the Lord visited me, I did not have peace. And uh, I used to drink a lot to get over this peacelessness. I tried many methods of trying to get peace. I couldn't do that and because of my excess drinking I became uh, very sick and uh, that was the time I wanted to kill myself, commit suicide and when the God servant told me about the peace that God gives, I started confessing my sins and asking the Lord to wash me with his precious blood. And when I started praying to him, it was a miracle, though I did not know how to pray correctly. The Lord did visit me, he spoke to me, and he spoke to me through a dream, and I heard his voice while I was sleeping. I didn't know that man could get connected to God. I thought uh, Christians are just, would be living a nominal life. But here God's servants told me, how a man can get connected with God, get his peace, and how God speaks, living uh, experiences with God. They told me all these things. And it, it, uh, it is the truth that while I started following the Lord Jesus Christ, he started speaking to me. And uh, for the last 25 years, he has been speaking to me. I have um, experiencing experiences of knowing God. And the first time I experienced peace was on March 30th, 1994, 25 years ago. The big load in my head, the torments and the peacelessness and the ill health and the psychiatric uh, problems, the suicide mind. At one instance, the big load came out of my head and I was uh, well awake and the peace of God came into my mind. That was my joy of salvation and I got connected with God. Not only confessed my sins with the Lord Jesus Christ and was, got washed with his precious blood, but uh, there were many people whom I had uh, ill-treated while I was in politics. Some very gruesome murders also took place and I grieved the people. So I wanted to set right my conscience and I started apologizing to, to my enemies. I also apologized to my wife, whom I ill-treated very much. And nearly 300 of my enemies, I started apologizing. And I did not want any hindrance between God and me. I did not want any unconfessed sins in me. So while I was doing like this, the miracle of getting God's peace and God's experiences started taking place. People around me who saw my life, including my chief bodyguard who was a deadly killer, he was a bomb manufacturer. After I told him about the Lord Jesus Christ, he did accept the Lord and people who worked as, as my drivers and many people who knew me, they came to understand that the Lord who changed me, the Lord who gave me peace, the Lord who gave me good health and long life and many blessings, including family blessings, that He is the true God who created this world. And through Jesus Christ, we get connected to the living Savior. If you, if you relate uh, my life to the visit to Croatia, it was God who spoke to me. Actually, I did not know the name of Croatia till God spoke to me and asked me to come to Croatia. God spoke to me, you're going to go to a nation that you do not know. So relating to the 
people of this country god uh, loves this country the god who loved me he loves this country and uh, god wanted me to be uh, proclaiming the gospel to tell the people of this country uh, about jesus christ and how man can get kind of connected with with the living god and to get his peace also and I, we have been here my wife and i we have been here for a month now uh, telling uh, going to different uh, cities and people are uh, listening to god's word and uh, people are really accepting that he is the living god so somebody told me about the lord jesus christ i didn't know god about 25 years back so i feel uh, that i should uh, proclaim him and god wants me to proclaim him to the people who don't know him because once people come to know the lord they will be blessed as god has blessed me this is a great blessing to know him and uh, i cannot explain how many blessings are there in a true christian life i would tell uh, any politician who was like me uh, that there is a, a situation wherein uh, any politician will be forgiven of uh, his misdeeds we all have misdeeds we are all sinners but the greatest thing is if we get connected with god we get the righteousness of god and the word of god says righteousness exalted the nation so if you as a politician would want to use your life if you want god to use your life to exalt the nation of croatia the basic thing would be that you become a righteous man be washed with the blood of jesus christ and uh, god will make us righteous and uh, then you can be used of god for the blessings of this nation and the people of this nation that's the basic to turn from our misdeeds ask the lord to forgive you and then to lead a righteous life in the sight of god and when that man or woman gets the light of god and definitely anybody would be able to see that light recognize that light recognize the change recognize the power that has come into his life because they become the light of the world jesus christ says you are the light of the world and the people of this country if they see a politician changed they will definitely see the light of god that is working in him it's it cannot be unseen yeah we are also very happy to have visited this country because this is the country that uh, god has chosen and uh, he wants to uh, visit the people of this country he wants to bless the people of this country and like god has blessed my life in india God wants to bless everyone otherwise he would not have asked me to come here it's all god's will that god sent me here and uh, that's the will of god to do great things for the people of this country croatia may god bless you all with his light